It's close. Not yet, though, Wendy. Almost. I know it's long. I've gone through a lot of examples. I completely understand. Um, all we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is now, when adding or subtracting them, just like adding or subtracting um, variables, you have to have like terms. So before, we obviously know these are not like terms. This is square root of 48, square root of 70, 75, and square root of 80. So what I'm going to do is I need to see, can I simplify all of these square roots? All right, and we simplify our square roots by saying what is the largest number that divides into each one of those, right? Square numbers. So I say let's do 48. 48 can be, um, well, what's the largest number? We have 16, 32, 48. Square root of 16 times 3, yes? Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 3. Square root of 75. What about the square root of 25 times 3? Right? Square root of 25 is 5. Radical 3. Square root of 80. Square root of 80, you could say 16 again and 5. Therefore, it's 4. Square root of 5. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace each one of those simplified square roots in for my answer. So I have 8 times 4 radical 3 minus 6 times 5 radical 3 plus 7 times 4 radical 5. Now remember, we can only multiply numbers by numbers. You can't multiply a number inside of your square root. So therefore, we get 32 square root of 3 minus 30 square root of 3 plus 28 square root of 5. Yes, question? What? Where did I lose you? OK. So I want you guys to understand, this. you're going to follow the same operations if I had wrote it like this. If I had wrote this with x's and y's, you guys would know, oh, you can only subtract 32x minus 30x. You can't do anything with the y, right? It's the same properties that are going to apply with your square roots. I can only subtract when they have the common square root. So therefore, when subtracting, or when simplifying this, I'm just going to have 32 square root of 3 minus 30 square root of 3. It's just going to be 2 square root of 3 plus 28 square root of 5. OK? All right, last example. Sorry, guys. Let me